Do you know the difference between what happens when you smile and what happens when you frown? I'm really glad you came by today. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and this is Metaphysical Ministry International. And what is a metaphysical ministry? Well, it has nothing to do with religion and everything to do with spirituality. And metaphysics is a philosophical aspect explaining quantum physics. So it's all about how the world really is, how things actually work, and it's not a new science. The experiments, the scientific experiments have been going on for about 100 years. Anyway, what you want to know is basically all that you can observe using only your five senses, it's less than 1% of what happens in the world. However, when you allow the fact to happen, when you allow in the switching to a multi-dimensional being, as all humans are at this point in time, in evolution, you will begin to see more and more of that 99% plus. That's all around us, always has been, always will be. But your five senses can't detect it. We begin every week with a happy share. Happy shares is something that left you feeling good. It's not about your spouse or your best friend, about your kids or your parents. It's something that left you feeling good or peaceful. Are calm. And what it does is when you look for a happy share every day, you'll find things to be happy about because they're there all the time. And the more you look for them, the more the universe will bring them to you. And that is how you create a happy share. So because I've been doing this for a long time, I've got lots of things to be happy about. So let me think. Okay. Today I made myself, I love Thai food a lot and I like to make it the way I like to taste it. So I made some green curry, Thai chicken, and vegetables. And it was really, really weird because when I put my thickening agent into the coconut uh, curry sauce, it didn't get thick. It bubbled up. And it made me wonder for a split second if instead of buying cornstarch, I had bought baking powder. But that couldn't have possibly happened. For one thing, you fill them in your fingers. They feel different. They look different. And I was very, very careful not to take anything from the bin that's baking powder because it has aluminum in it. So, at first I was disappointed that I wasn't going to have a nice creamy meal. And then I realized, you know what? It's kind of cold. And I want some hot soup anyway. And I've been wanting hot soup, so I've been making a lot. I ate my food as soup. And it was quite enjoyable. So now I hadn't really thought of making it into soup before because the usual Thai soup I make is the lemongrass coconut. Anyway, that's my happy share. I got to make a new kind of Thai soup for myself that I totally enjoyed. What's your happy share? Why don't you go ahead, put it down below, because here's what happens when you share a happy share. You get to enjoy it all over again. Your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between what's real and happening now and what you're imagining to be happening now. Therefore, all the same feel-good chemicals will flow out. Now, right now, I'm not singing, and I thought, well, I thought about doing a meditation today, but then I found this really, really cool thing on YouTube, which is why you're seeing that <laughs> behind me. It's a smiley face. Now, what's the difference that happens for you between a smiley face and a sad frown? Well, remember a moment ago I was talking about how when you're having in the happy share and you have a feel-good thought, all the feel-good chemicals go running through your body? Well, they do when you smile. Just try this for a moment. Smile and try, and of course try means you can't do it, right? Try to, at the same time that you're smiling, think an unhappy, unpleasant thought that makes you angry, frustrated. Just try it. It's not really a smile, is it? Because it's impossible to smile while you're not happy. It just doesn't look like your natural, real smile. Same thing, you cannot simultaneously think about something that leaves you feeling happy and think about something that leaves you feeling sad. So what does that mean for you? 
It means if you're feeling bad, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling frustrated or angry, or oh, all of that whole list of things you don't want to be feeling. Anyway, what you do is you smile and feel gratitude because gratitude is love. And when you're feeling love, you're not going to be feeling anything else. And what do I mean by gratitude and love? Well, be thankful that you can see with your eyes. Be thankful that you're in a place shielded from any bad climate going on. Be thankful that you have your health. Be thankful that you're able to smile. There's so much to be thankful for. And when you're feeling thankful, you're boosting your energy. You're boosting your frequency to a place where you're going to feel better. Now, I found this really, really fun video, a song about smiling today. And I found it on YouTube. So if you go on over there and you click on that link, you'll be able to view that smiling YouTube video. There's just a little bit in there about religion, and it's not something that I believe in or share, but it's such a great song. Just ignore that little piece, because the metaphysical ministry is not about religion, and it is only about spirituality. And smiling is definitely a part of being in your spiritual experience. Now, if you look up at the top of the page, you'll see a place called Hold a Space For. And if there's something in your life that you want to be part of your reality that isn't part of your reality right now, scroll down there and fill in a request for us to hold the space for, which means seeing you. You don't have to know what you look like. The universe does. You put in your name and what it is you want, and we will see you living that reality. Because not only will it appear down there, but it will go up there on the hold the space for page. You come back here at least one time a week, right? And you tell your friends and family to come here too. Read through every name and what it is they ask us to hold a space for. The universe knows who they are. You don't have to. Just the fact that you're naming the name and saying what it is they want. And it's important to say it out loud. So you can do this where it's okay for you to speak. You don't have to yell it. Just speak it. What that does is it increases the size of the thought form going out to the universe. So you as one person, when you make re your request, it's coming to you. But what if you had a hundred, a thousand people making that request with you? That thought form is going to get so huge, the universe is going to see it, bring it to you sooner if it's the right time for you. Now if you haven't done so already, go in over there, fill in your name and email address, and I will send you a copy of my ebook, How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. And I also appreciate your going down there or up there to share, to send a copy of our gathering today to people who you care about. You know, there are a lot of people in the world that don't usually talk about it who are looking for a spiritual home. A lot of people don't believe in religion, but they're very spiritual. So share this site with them. You'll be glad they did, and they'll be glad that you did. I will see you here next week. And in the meantime, remember, smile. I believe in causing smiles to blossom. Blessings.